Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. Well, as we already talked about a few times, we're going to deconstruct the lab book. It's going to be the deconstructed lab book. The, my name is not Howard, lab book. Um, just in case you're new to the channel, it will, the link for that video will be in the description box below. Anyhow, welcome to all new subscribers and thank you for doing so. And welcome back to, you know, all the other subscribers that I love so much. And not only I'm going to go through everything we're going to need to do that lab book. And yes, it's easy. Please let's not flip out here. Um, we also going to talk about the giveaway. So it goes like this. We're going to make about the same, not really identical, but close to it of this lab book. And by the time it's done, we're going to do a giveaway for the finished lab book. So that's pretty exciting. Also, because I love everybody and I'm so happy you're there. All the ephemera that we're going to put here, here or there, we're going to digi scan. And then I will each video, we're going to make little stack of ephemera and we will scan them and I mail them to you so pretty much you know you give your subscriber youtube name send me the email in the description box below and i mail you back the digi scan okay now we get that covered like giveaway giveaway rewards rewards i'm like a credit card you're getting rewards so i ask h to lend me the lab book which was very nice because we can refer to it for the supplies. You're going to need book covers, um, two, right? Because front and back. So any book cover, you know, that you have this one, we can check out the binders, cut it to size. Can be, I don't know, one of the old, kids books, any format. It doesn't have to be a big one. If you want to do a small um, lab book, just, you know, do a small one. You just don't scare yourself. So that is for, or you can use a chipboard if you don't have book cover, okay? Book cover are pretty simple though. So that's step one. You're gonna need that. Now, and if we take the lab book, you're going to need heavy duty folders like so. Well, I got a stash here, but I got options. So heavy duty folders, those are the one I use. You can also use those. Make sure they're big enough for whatever you want to do, right? Because it's got to fit in. You can use hanging files. Okay, you take those things off and you use this part. They're a little bit flimsy though, you know, with something sturdy, like, or double them. You, you want something sturdy. And uh, if you do not have any of that, you get the uh, good old cereal box, right? And they're kind of sturdy enough, and we're going to paste stuff over it, and it's going to get thicker and thicker anyway. Just again, make sure that, you know, you get, it doesn't have to be as high. That's, you know, that's, that's okay. But at least the width, I mean, the width is going to be less than your book cover. Like, for example, if I take this book cover, now you're going to have a spine. Yes, that would be your cereal box is perfect. 
So that I leave up to you, you know, the size of what you're doing. And based on the size that you want to do, well, that's the folders you're going to use. So that's step one. You're going to need that. Step two, there is the spine. So here, so let's look at it. There's the spine. So we're going to do two options. We're going to do the, what is it called? Jump ring. Those are your jump rings. Those, we're going to put the link below as well. You can, hold on, let me do that properly. See, those, you can open by, oops, by hand, right? So, they're not too hard, right? You see what I'm, I don't know if you see what I'm doing here. You see what I mean? You can open it by hand. If they're a little bit sturdier, because some of them are thicker, depending on what you have, if you order those, you can do it by hand. If they're a little bit thicker, more like heavy duty type, you're gonna need those things because, you know, I don't wanna make you miserable either. So that, if you're not gonna use the jump ring, which you can totally not use jump ring, you can use baking twine. Easy enough, right? So that's your option if you don't want to do the rings. You can use, I tried it, it works, it's cool. So you can do it like that. You're gonna need eyelets, you know, the standard 316 eyelets. Um, whichever one you want. I found they always come in different colors. So pretty much. I just alternate them throughout the whole, you see, throughout the whole book. This way I'm not tied up to one specific one. But you know, you do whatever float your boat, right? Right. So we're gonna need that. We're gonna need cardstock. You pick your theme and you go on with your cardstock. This one, I didn't use cardstock on the, what do you call, on the folder, I used, um, from an old atlas, I used maps. So it can also be scrapbook paper, but you, eventually you're going to need cardstock and you're going to need some kind of theme. So, you know, everything's got a meaning, right? You know, for your background and all of that. Uh, glue. Well, you know, you get your regular tacky glue, you get your glue stick. Now for the spine itself, I strongly suggest you use something pretty strong, like the screen one or the um, fiber tax, you know, because those are strong glues. That. Uh, what else you're gonna need? You're gonna need, that's easy, packing tape. We can do that. You're gonna need hole punch, this one, or the crocodile one. If you're not gonna use eyelet, you can get uh, hole reinforcers, you know, the regular white one, and then you distress them, and then they look cool. You can also do that. You're gonna need some, I'm talking hardware here. Brads, you know, whichever type of brads you want to use, right? Because, you know, those always come handy. And I think that's about that. The first thing we're going to do is the spine. So I will readdress the supplies that you need in order to do that. I will put the whole list of supplies in the description box below so you know where you're going. 
I can briefly go over with if you want to be ahead of the program and get your stuff together, you know, what eventually you're going to need as we go along. So, of course, the file folders grab like five, six, or eight, or whatever, because we use that a lot, right? So, file folders is covered. Book cover is covered. Also, if you do the serial box option, keep the sides because that's going to come handy too, just saying, right? I mean, don't throw them away. So that's with that. First page here is the big envelope. Now, if you don't have a big envelope like this, you can totally use those half yellow envelope, you know, dollar, dollar store. It's a dollar. You have six. And what we do is we will just glue it shut. See, it's about the same size and then open it from that side. You're gonna need more uh, fire folder for those, right? Cannot ruin his lab bug, I'm gonna have to be careful. Big envelopes, we will find big envelopes or we can always use those envelopes. That's why you have six of them. So you're gonna need something for the pocket. You're gonna need the, if you're gonna do that, the every, um, you know, pocket when you buy things, those, they open like this. If you don't have that, you can use also a bigger envelope and we can reinforce it with cardstock and you can also use that. This is the mystery envelope that I don't know if I can do it again, but we can always try. Same thing. We will do it with those six envelopes. Just in case we kind of mess up along the way, get two packs, right? So this way you don't run out. Then there's going to be the padded uh, elastic -y thing. So you can get also elastic. I can put the link as well for the elastic. If you don't have elastic, you can totally use this. The padded envelope, I was lucky enough to find a um, brown craft padded envelope. It doesn't have to be if you have your regular Amazon padded envelope, it will work. And if you do not have any padded envelope, I can totally show you how to make up for it and pad it when time comes for that. Okay, just to give you your heads up. Then there's the little flipper bags. So you need little bags. I will also put the link below. If you didn't want to get little you can make little bags. It's really easy. We can also go over that, but you know what I'm saying. So that, this is also folder. That's why I said, just really get a, a stack of, you know, strong file folders. Then uh, it goes this way. That is a cardboard envelope. You know, those very strong cardboard envelope. If you don't have any of that, again, you can use those envelope, which is why you bought two packs, right? And then we put cardstock on it and it will be just fine. It will totally do the job. For this, you need small envelopes or make them if you have a real envelope maker. Those are just like your regular you know, the old card, you know, those set come with the, the card inside envelope. There's two of them, just get three in case of one doesn't turn out the way you want it, but about that. And again, depending on the size, I'm not going to give you any size because if you do a smaller lab book, then those envelopes are obviously going to be too big. So you get smaller envelopes, you get, you know, keep everything 
to scale with whatever your lab book dimensions are. Here I use those photo dividers that you find in photo boxes. If you don't have any of those, you can use the bigger index card. Same thing, they have them at the dollar store. Okay, and then work with that. So that's not a big thing. Brad's address that, right? You're gonna need Brad's because there's Brad's like here, here and there. And then, so we did the bags, we did this, we did this, we did that. And then for the big folder there, again, this is gonna be file folders are gonna be involved. So stack up on the file folders, really, that's what I will say. And your background, whatever you want it to be, find, you know, find yourself a, a theme, go with it, gather stuff that you want to put in it. Now, again, I'm going to say this. It looks like it is very intricate. It is not. It is very simple to do, which bring me to, I have about 330 something subscribers. By the end, we should have 330 something lab book, except we're going to have to count out the hundred who just passed out and said I cannot do that. Yes, you can. And we're going to go and do it step by step. And it's not that hard at all. The name of the game is to one, try to do it. But the biggest name of the game is to subscribe. So maybe you get a chance to win the, you know, ultimate best ever lab book there is because that's what we're doing. Again, if you subscribe, you also going to get ephemera download that you can oh, look at that. Look at those uh, jumping ring They're jumping already. So you can have some of those. And also, uh, you're going to need a ruler, needless to say. Uh, on the other hand, I'm not a big measuring fan, so this really basic uh, measuring is involved. If you have a scoreboard, great. If you don't, you can measure and fold with your ruler, and you already have the ruler, so you're good. That's about all I can... Scissors, door. That's all I... I can really think about. Now, there is a tool that you are not going to find on Amazon. I know they don't have it. Um, sometimes it is really hard to find. Sometimes it's readily available. You will find it. You don't have to worry about it. You will find it because it will be here, here, or there in places you will have never thought it will be. And that specific tool is patience. So, just I'm going to give you the definition of it. The capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering. There will be no suffering involved without getting angry or upset. Okay, and you will not video the making of your lab book, so you don't even have to bleep whatever come out of your mouth, so you're all good, right? So here it is. We're going to do it. This is happening. We're doing the Not Howard lab book. All right, next video, we're doing the spine. We go over the supply for the spine, and we're making the spine. Great, great. Well, just get excited. It's time to roll up your sleeves and be like, you when is the next video? It's coming up. See you then. Bye.